Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much will depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news update. Democracy that nurtures poverty is abortion. Democracy that nurtures a lack of peace and security should be thrown overboard. Obasanjo discussed Nigeria's democracy. Now, former president of Nigeria, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, have stated in categorical terms. Yes, he said, look, Nigerian democracy is a debacle. It's a disaster of sorts. Obasanjo made this statement when he was hosted by the governor for your state, Shei Makinde. At the opening of internal rules in Shei on Friday, we Obasanjo described a democracy built on unemployment as a failure. In a task statement but incisive, Obasanjo states thus, quote, democracy that nurtures a lack of peace and security must be thrown overboard. Democracy that nurtures poverty is abortion. Democracy that nurtures unemployment is a failure. Democracy dividends must involve peace, security, stability, prosperity, wealth creation, employment, and the wholesomeness of the society. That's when democracy would continue to survive, and people will feel that, yes, democracy is a worthwhile system of government that must be embraced. End of quote. Now, this is what Abbasan just said. Abbasan just enumerated the, you know, the red light of a failed system, the indications, what you will see, and you know that this system is failed already. It's a failed system, all right? So he indicated it, and all the all of them is in democracy, has been practiced in Nigeria. All these symptoms that kills a nation, that kills countries, they are in Nigeria, they are existing. Yes, that's what the person is saying, and he therefore said, look, this is a failed system, it's a failed country, Yes, when a democracy will nurture a lack of peace and security, say so that must that democracy must be thrown overboard. There's no peace anywhere, from north east to north west, north central. See the Boko Haram that have held the country hostage for almost two decades now, with the activities you know increasing by the day. Yes, talk about the bandits. Talk about the bandits from Niger State, move to Kaduna State, Zamfara, the bandits. Now you talk about the Eshwa. Okay? So you talk about this, the insecurity. There's so busy everywhere, anywhere in the part of the country. The full of the the rising southwest, on those states, and those states in the south, in the southwest. You talk about in the southeast, where Nigeria military and the SS, the police, they are wreaking havoc with the government militia, the bargains. All right? So these are the things happening. There's no security. There's no peace. Okay? So some people describe peace as an absence of war or the absence of war. That's no peace. Yes, that's no peace. Whereas there's no stability, there's no peace. Yes. There may not be war, but no stability. Even hunger, in a, in a situation where people are hungry, over 80% of the citizens are in abject poverty. There won't be peace now. We talk about war. war is not, the absence of war is not just peace. It's not, war, it's not what provides peace. All right? So Nigeria has not known peace for decades now. They have been battling terrorism. They have been battling hunger, hardship. They have been battling insurrections for many quarters. Yes. So we talk about unemployment. Unemployment is about 40 something percent now. Before they rebase it, it's 40 something percent unemployment rate. Getting to 50. I think that should be the highest in the whole of Af just the whole world, not just Africa. I've not seen this kind of unemployment rate before. Almost 50. All right. So what are we talking about? Poverty is too much in the land. They said Nigeria is suffering from multi-dimensional poverty. Multi-dimensional poverty. That's what the country is passing through. Over 80% of Nigerians live below poverty line. Yes, less than a dollar. Less than a dollar. Of course. What is the dollar is too much now in Nigeria. People who are making up to 1,000 naira daily, they are not poor. 
as long as Nigeria is concerned, because you have poor people, those who are poor than, poorer than them. If you classify people who are getting 1,000 every month, every day, as poor in Nigeria, then 99% of Nigerians are poor. 99% of Nigerians are poor. If you classify those who are earning about 1,000 naira daily to people who are poor, yes, they are lives less than 50 pence. A day less than 50 pence. So, what are we talking about? So, the country is in tatters. My person have said they say he discards this democracy, he discards it. All right, and someone will say, Oh, this opportunity that is saying this thing after he served Nigeria as a president for eight years. What did he do to change the narrative or to make Nigeria better? So, we ask that question, of course, from 1999 or 19, of course, to 2007. You know, how many years now? So if a country from 2007 started a process of economic rejuvenation, you know, engendering peace and development, you know, playing governance of inclusion, bringing people close, you know, those people that have been hitherto been thrown away and said, oh, you know, they don't matter. I will start bringing them close and start the process of healing and everything, reconciliation. Okay, that's supposed to have been started since 1970. By now, we must have known where we are. Of course, the post of reconciliation, all inclusive governance, making others to come and belong in the project, not divide and rule. They are these people, they are dots in a country. In the 21st century, 21st century, a president is saying a very big segment of the society, of the country where he's governing. When he's willing, it's a dot. You are defining them as a dot. What kind of statement is that in a 21st century? A Nigerian president made a statement, and people, people did, they just were, they were, you know, everyone was calm and quiet and peaceful after that statement. That is the kind of statement that threw a country into, you know, chaos and unimaginable cataclysm. But it was downplayed as if nothing happened. It was only Twitter that reacted to it when he said, oh, I will send tanks, I will send troops. And what happened to your forefathers? What happened to your forebears and ancestors? What happened to you? You know how we deal with them. A president was making such, you know, very, very, you know, statement that is highly inflammable. Yes, inflammable, highly inflammable statement. Yes, a president was making it. And so that is Nigeria. Those are the indications that shows that it's a failed state. Nigeria will not work again. The persons have said it. All these symptoms, there are symptoms of diseases that are incurable. These symptoms are symptoms of diseases that are terminal. Diseases that lead to the grave. That is the sickness that Nigeria is suffering.